Today we'll be reading Unlocked, stories of hope from tiny owl artists in lockdown. My daily walks were precious. I avoided the normally busy streets as the emptiness made me too sad. But there was beauty in the quiet. We discovered all sorts of amazing green spaces very close to the house we've lived in for years and years and never noticed before. We watched spring arrive in front of a sleeping city and found the perfect trees to climb. Figo came to stay with me during lockdown. Days were sweeter with him around. Figo is very kind, he likes to eat, play and go outside. Every day I had to give him treats and play with him to keep him busy. He, in turn, kept me busy too. We got up early in the morning and left the village with our walking sticks and hats. We walked through the forest, past the chapel by the little stream, downhill through two villages. Then all the way to the lighthouse at the very western tip of Europe. We took the coastal path back and ate our oranges on the beach. We would take the farm road back home so we could greet our friends, the horses. My boyfriend and I decided if we couldn't go out, we'd bring the outside in. We imagined a cafe with a menu and loyalty card. We imagined cinema days and attended theatres and concerts. We imagined a gym and yoga studio in our living room. We imagined a garden and planted seeds. As the world outside stood still, we watched the seasons change and new life grow inside. During lockdown, I practiced baking. At first, I missed my grandma Jenny hugs and cuddles, but then, Tom floated his love to me, Ellie made me a noodle smile, Florence came over and gave me a window high five, and Hattie sent a distant goodnight hug. I worked more than ever, I talked to my friends and family more than ever, I thought more than ever, I worked out more than ever. One of the coolest things I experienced during lockdown was the music and song from the balconies and windows of my city. We all had more time to be creative, to try new things, to look out at the moon and stars shining down in the night sky. I chatted with neighbours I'd never met before. We helped each other. We shared food, stories, support and hope. As spring turned to summer, the dawn called me earlier each day and I delighted in a theatre of fresh bright leaves sliced through with rays of bright sunshine, a stage for a choir of birdsong accompanied by a percussion of woodpeckers and featuring the soprano screech of excited squirrels. I made jars of kimchi, lots of them. The kimchi were red but not too spicy. I had them every day for breakfast, lunch and dinner. I spent my time in lockdown talking to the world, just in a different way. One day I decided to visit my local forest. I hugged a tree who seemed friendly and it felt very good. Then I decided to sit down, close my eyes and listen intently to all the sounds of the forest. Soon I felt as if I was being observed with great curiosity. We had a whole bunch of celebrations in lockdown over video calls. Birthdays, graduations and new jobs were celebrated. We put on our party hats a lot. It's strange to have a party where everyone is in a different place, but you do get to see what other people's houses look like and everyone got to eat their own entire cake each time. In lockdown, I have been growing things, looking at the sky, 
noticing the details and going where the path leads. I've learnt that even without sunshine, the sea still sparkles. I made a box for you to hide in, with lines to keep you safe. Inside there's a flowering field and eventually an escape.